All right, that's done. That took a while. Let's upgrade stuff. Okay, so two attribute points. Uh, let's do two flexes for both. Because why not? I've been using a lot of assault rifles. It's not Wait. What's sniper rifles? Which attribute? Or do they count as assault rifles? Alright then. Well, anyway. Increase ch critical chance by 10% from behind cover. Defeating enemy. No. Increases. You know what? I'll do that. I'll max this out. Oh, should get that. Quick attacks. We don't use that. Unless we absolutely need to get this in order to move on. Deal 25% more damage with rifles and submachine guns. Oh, I'll take that. And... Hmm. Yeah, increase the critical hit chance. Okay, we're done here. Let's move on to the next one. What time is it? 10.30 p.m.? Yeah, let's go to Lizzie's bar now. Okay. Yeah, let's quit travel to Lizzie's bar. Let's go somewhat near it. Goldsmith Street. And since it's just 300 meters, you know what? Let's call the car. Now you're over here. What the hell? Damn you! Just let me get in. Alright, let's head over to Lizzie's bar and go for this objective. Wait, is there anything else we can do? I should probably double check this. A journal. Side jobs. Oh, I still need to pay this guy. I don't know what this is. Wait, I have a lot of these. Hmm. Yeah, let's just continue on doing the main job. And then we'll do some side quests, like... Or side jobs, rather. Later on. Oh, we're supposed to turn in here. Come on, keep going. What the hell? Can I, like, continue driving? Why is my car doing that? Like, come on, just back in there. I 
I'm trying to park game. Come on. I'm pressing back. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's park like that. Oh my god. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Mm hmm. Let's go in here. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. The girls were paid right, insured, and had these. Okay, let's skip this. Till? Let me guess. No, Tiger. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end. Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with her. Luckily, the big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up. Now, biz booms to this day. All right, then. Looking Who's for Evelyn. Evelyn Parker. You know she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Mm. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. And? Like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured. You'd know. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Okay, follow Evelyn to the VIP room. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Sit. Dex had a load to say about you. He called you professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trustworthy. I hope he wasn't over. He was overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? Yes. No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known a... What's you writing Dex's bio? You writing Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. 
There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used cars. Okay, let's, let's talk business. Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous risk. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris. Well, it's hard to. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka. In Night City. <laughs> Guess the screen sheet. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Okay. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still a Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, what's Netwatch? Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Okay. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Hmm. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything. Yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? 
Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. Like anything else? Sorry, I no. didn't mean to. It can I'll be a very whatever useful I can tool. To good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back. Years. Mm. V. Garth. This is important. It'll be just like you said. Judy's always been there for me. Yeah, yeah. Always helped ready. out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hang on, cartoons. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What's so raw about it? How does this differ from the ready maids? Huh. Ready maids, provided they're well made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre crafted, hard coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue and viral. You get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right, let's sit down. Let's get ourselves a brain dance. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD it to get to know the editor now let me see where could we can't he just use my recording why are we wasting time so we don't risk our necks 
sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Wait, so we're like editing these memories or the brain dance? The BD roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. All seems yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Should rewind. I got it? Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in. Snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the eagles like Christmas to better. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Uh, oh, R. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Okay. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember. Everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, okay. Play the gun until you spot the gun. Play the recording until you spot the gun. <laughs> Play the gun? Okay, right here. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Now heads up, in analysis 
mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Let's left shift. Good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of rotif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today of two flavors: cutty and yeah. serpent. Everybody. Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sounds, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Grab! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop your sh What a god! Whoa! Yeah, hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Hey, what's this then? Wait, it's... Here? Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Hmm. Interesting. So we're going to be using this lots in this game. Most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. 
Kun Pecky. Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Hold up. I said no. You know, let's just watch this thing first, and then we'll start editing. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation. V. Could be something important. You mean like right now? in here need to be controlled but uh, make yourself comfortable I need a minute to finish we shall see soon enough my father's a tired visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. Okay, we're supposed to scan his phone. Sabro is an adult desperate. Wow, champagne's decent. removed from reality. Taste boosted somehow. Stuck in some nope, fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly you'll that be no sipping in real space exists. soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Not it. In the hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Okay, I guess we can't play back the entire thing then. Gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Hello. 
You know what? Let's go back, all the way back. Wait, restart. So where is Oh, that's alarm. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Oh, here we go. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for good cause. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. Father is a tired, visualist old greybeard who thinks nothing will change. Okay. What forever. is this? Is tight, nothing. Frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. We'll listen to this. Sabroid, nothing in here. The visual layer scan is data pad while it's turned on. Sorry to make you wait. All right, go back to playback. Data pad while it's turned on. Where's the data pad? No. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. Okay, let's just fast forward. Where is the data pad? We have not seen eye to eye in 20 years. I am quite sure. Was it turned on when we walked in? Like he was holding it. Where is then it? You shall perish for a good cause. But so I need a minute to finish. The pro the program is still in the Nilitsim Airborne. The program is still in the Nilitsim Airborne. Oh. Wait. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it. Please speak with your father. Okay. I. Th we have to move forward. Okay, let's just continue on. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? 
Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Oh, it's turned on now. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's like I'm really... V, eye on the prize, focus. Manual details a special temp control container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Wait, what's this? Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Okay, we have to go back. You are over here. Oh, it's an automated turret. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. All right. Can we get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Last time. Bad one. I got an idea. The thermal layer is unlocked. Press shift. Aha. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations. Risk of damage. It's in the freezer, isn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tint's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Switch. It's in... Freezer. Where would the freezer be? Was that it? Just a fancy-ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. But what were the guidelines anyway? Wait, what? What's that thing over there? As is. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Alright, we're done here. That took a long time, just to get to this point. Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Yep. 
Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling VDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. All right, let's get up, finally. Let's walk. I walk faster than you. Well, what do you think? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kenpeki. Winds are right. The plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? So what now? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. Without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. What the hell? Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Mr. V? 
Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. All right, Mom. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. Uh-huh. We're all set. Ready to go. Uh-huh. What now? Now we do the job I hired you uh -huh. to do. Grabbing that bio chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. B. Alright, so this is done. Come on in. I just left. This is such a stupid park job. Status. I'm gonna send it through a text. Head to the afterlife. Whenever money changes hands. Okay. Let's go. Let's head to the afterlife. <laughs>